This next activity is the wage calculator and what it does is calculate the amount of payment due to a number of employees based on the hours they've worked per week and the age bracket they fall into. It makes use of multiple functions as well as absolute and relative referencing in order to make it an efficient spreadsheet. So let's start off first by doing the simple part which is tallying up all the hours worked by employees per week. So essentially I'm going to go total hours per week I'm going to do equals, sum, open brackets, and highlight row two, okay, and press enter. Okay, so C Weathers worked 16 hours this week. Now that's a basic formula that I do want a relative reference, so I'm going to go to the bottom right corner, drag it down, and now all the employees have their total hours confirmed. What I need to do now is assign an amount of payment for all of these employees. So once again, we're going to focus on C Weathers first and make sure we get his right. Okay. So in order to do this calculation, I need to know the age and which pay bracket they fall into. And I'm going to put in a general formula that's going to apply to all of the employees' payments. Okay. So let's just start off by trying to assign the four, age 14 bracket to C Weathers, even though we know he's 17. So we're going to use the if function. So we're going to go equals if, okay, age equals 14, and then comma, and then down here we can see for 14 we've assigned 1095, and I'm going to click on that cell there, okay, and then close bracket, enter. And all I want to say is false because we essentially know that it's not 14 there. It's actually 17 up there. But that's just one bracket. We've actually got to set up all these actual payment rates in this one formula. So what I'm going to do now is highlight this if part. Okay. And then let's add in the other brackets and just amend them slightly. So we're going to go plus. Okay. And once again, the same formula, but this time we're talking about 15. Okay, and also we're not talking about B11, we're talking about C11. Now the other thing I've got to keep in mind too is that when I relative reference this, these actual cells are no longer going to be referenced down here. Okay, it's actually going to pull them down if I move the formula down over here. So I need to make sure I absolutely reference all of these cells. So I'm going to go back to B11, I'm going to make it dollar sign B dollar sign 11, and for C11 I'm going to make it dollar sign C dollar sign 11. So I'm going to copy that formula once again to save time and I might even copy the plus as well. Okay, let's go paste and this time we're talking about if B2 equals 16. Okay, we'll be referencing D11. If B2 equals 17, we'll be referencing E11, and if B2 is equal to 18, but also greater than or equal to 18, then F11. Okay, let's press enter. Okay, so let's see our test. Okay, C Weathers is 17, so he should be charged the rate of 15.10. Okay, and we can actually see 15.10 there, which is fantastic. Okay, so now the last thing we need to do now is times this pay rate by the hours. So what I'm going to do is put a big bracket around this entire formula and then times it, okay, by the amount of hours worked. Let's press enter and there's our total pay. I'm now going to do a relative reference on this formula because it's quite a large formula and drag it down for all my employees and I'm going to double check now that when I click on the cell it is still referencing the right places. So this was a relative reference for all the ages so that did move down to the formula but the absolute references of the actual payment brackets have stayed the same which is fantastic. So I hope this gives you a bit of an understanding of the power of using both absolute and relative references within a realistic type of spreadsheet such as a wage calculator and just how beneficial it can be by creating one really long formula and then easily copying it for a number of other rows okay, to do complex calculations. 
One other important advantage to point out as well is the fact that if an employee's age changes, so let's say when C. Weathers turns 18, okay, his pay will change accordingly. And that's most likely what's going to happen every year with all of these employees with their ages changing. Okay, employees who are 14 will turn 15, going up an age bracket, 17 to 18, okay, and so on. The other thing that also is an advantageous due to the absolute referencing is if there is a pay raise, okay, in all the brackets, I can actually change formulas. So I could make it that this 1267 becomes 1367, and all those affected will receive it immediately. So once again, the advantages of having big formulas that make use of both relative and absolute referencing in conjunction with our functions, okay, being advantageous to our spreadsheets. This amazing tutorial is a part of Spreadsheet Lesson Activities, a new book that I've released related to content with spreadsheet concepts, activities related to functions, graphs, embedding, conditional logic and macros and much more, links to unadvertised YouTube demonstrations, exam style questions and sample answers. So be sure to check it out if you want to learn more about spreadsheets.